Welcome to Real Physics. In this series I'd like to explore the possibilities of AI and physics and today I will talk about nuclear physics. Why I do believe that artificial intelligence could lead to a significant advance in this field, let's unpack that a little bit. Now we had at the beginning of the 20th century a big success of quantum mechanics, but what is quantum mechanics is actually theoretical atomic physics. And you were able to predict these all these spectral lines discovered in 1885 by Johann Jakob Palmer. You were able to predict these lines by elementary constants and pure math. And that was a tremendous achievement. Now, let's not forget that in comparison to the success of atomic physics, nuclear physics is in a respectively poor state. And we don't have these precise predictions. Niels Bohr, the father of atomic physics, if you want, and he, by the way, was the discoverer that radioactivity comes from the nucleus, and he claimed that for a proper understanding of the nucleus, probably physics would have to undergo a similar revolution than quantum mechanics. So let's say there is something to discover here, definitely, because not only we have all the gamma rays uh, originating from the nuclei. We have also the beta decay, the fast electrons ejected, and of course also alpha decay. And we have energies and we have half-lives. And all this is a bunch of numbers which is not predicted, it's not explained. Okay, so there is a whole lot of potential explanatory power a uh, prospective new theory could lead to. And we have also good data because, I mean, we have 82 stable nuclei and even more <laughs> people have arrived at, I don't know, 116 or something. And some of them have up to 1214 isotopes. So we have a lot of data. We have the precise energies. We have, of course, the mass and the constitution and so on. Some even have beta plus and beta minus decay. Okay. Anyway, uh, so but there is this wealth of data which is hard to oversee for a human, I guess, and potentially there could be some insight from a neural network that works on this data. Let's not forget that for simple cases, let's take for example free fall, a symbolic regression could even determine the relation of height, local gravity, and the falling time. So it's not out of the place that we speculate about this possibility that a neural network might reveal similar relations between say half-life and energy. This already exists. It's called the Geiger-Nuttall rule and the Sargent rule for beta decay. But these are just approximate rules so there is not very much precision in all the field. Don't get offended, nuclear physicists, you do very good experimental work, but there's a lot of to discover. And I should mention also that, yes, there was a Nobel Prize handed out for the so-called shell model, but it's not that you could calculate anything precisely in a real satisfactory manner. So I guess there could be some progress, of course. And well, on a more deeper level, still we have this relation of the proton and the electron mass, 1836, which is of course a huge problem to solve. And one could even see it as a unification of atomic and nuclear physics if you manage to calculate the mass ratio because the proton represents the nucleus and the atom if you want completes it, uh, the electron if you want completes it to an atom. And of course there are other very basic questions which I do not expect in short time to be resolved, such as why is there radioactivity at all? Why couldn't you build physics without that strange phenomenon? And okay, but well, I see a certain chance that artificial intellig intelligence might lead us to progress in that direction. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.